Have you ever heard of wooden tongue in bovines? Intriguing as it may sound, wooden tongue is a sporadic infectious disease that primarily targets the soft tissues of the buccal cavity of our bovine friends. The disease is commonly linked with traumatic lesions and grazing on abrasive pastures filled with spiny awns. Now the question arises, who is the culprit behind this disease? The answer is Actinobacillus linearsi, a gram-negative bacterium. This bacterium causes the disease to manifest in the soft tissues of the mouth, including the tongue, draining lymph nodes, lips, head, neck, and lower limbs. What are the symptoms to look out for? The clinical signs include excessive salivation, gentle chewing, the presence of nodules, and ulcers on the tongue. The tongue's inflammation and fibrosis lead to a wooden-like hardness, hence the name, wooden tongue. In some cases, lymphadenitis and cutaneous actinobacillus result in granulomas on the nose, cheeks, skin, eyelids, and limbs. How is wooden tongue diagnosed? A microscopic examination that reveals gram-positive filamentous rods and biopsies or pus exudates after staining is a clear indication. The presence of sulfur bodies and the appearance of club-like rosette colonies further confirms the diagnosis. So how is wooden tongue treated? The treatment involves various methods, Potassium iodide can be administered orally or sodium iodide intravenously for a period of 10 days. However, pregnant cows should be kept away from iodide treatments. Sulfonamides, a broad-spectrum antibiotic, can also be helpful. Streptomycin injection administered intramuscularly proves effective, as does procaine penicillin for 7 days. Another option is oxytetracycline injection for 7 days, either intravenously or intramuscularly. The dosage and duration of treatment depend on the cattle's body weight and the severity of the disease. Wooden tongue is a complex condition, and therefore, it is essential to consult a veterinarian for accurate diagnosis and treatment. Stay tuned to our channel for more insights on applied veterinary medicine. Remember, knowledge is the first step towards prevention and treatment.